All right. So uh, this is the last part of indicator one, and that is applying integer operations. And my learning target, uh, I can use the order of integer operations to evaluate expressions. So uh, first and foremost, let's uh, begin talking about the order of operations, So, which would be PEMDAS. So let me just review that really quick before we get into integer operations, OK? So um, we have PEMDAS, which you all are very familiar with. And it is very important to follow this order when we are solving any form of operation. OK? So uh, P stands, so, you know, we've also heard of please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You have heard this phrase over and over again. So this is the mnemonic that you have heard before. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It stands for nothing but PEMDAS. So this is a quick review. Uh, P stands for parentheses. Okay, so we have parentheses. That's more than one, or you can just say the I. Okay. Um, e stands for exponent. M is multiplication. D stands for division. A is addition. And last but not the least, subtraction. Now, you also got to remember that these two go like this. And the reason I put that arrow is if I only have multiplication and division left in my problem, I go left to right, left to right. Same thing, if I only have addition and subtraction left in my problem, I go left to right. Okay, so we have to always follow this order of operation whenever we are solving problems with integer operations. So uh, let's quickly do a problem. And if I say negative 4 times 3 plus negative 7. So first thing I need you to remember to do is always, whenever you are starting anything with integer operations, immediately put PEMDAS on the top so we don't forget. Do we have any parentheses here, like operations within parentheses? That's what I meant. And no. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? Absolutely, because this means multiplying. And now we are doing a negative sign with a positive integer. So negative times positive is going to give me negative. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 plus negative 7. All right. So therefore, now we are looking at we have the same signs that we are adding together. So I have 12 negatives. I add on 7 more negatives to it. So that gives me negative 19 as my final answer. Okay, always try to follow PEMDAS in this format. So it's going like an ice cream cone down uh, because each step that you're solving, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller till the final answer. Okay, so uh, let's do another problem. Um, and let's say I give you, erase this. Okay, let's say I give you a negative 42 over 6 plus negative 5. All right, so again, please remember PEMDAS straight up. Always write this so that we always remember that order. And then I am looking at, okay, I don't have parentheses, I don't have exponent, I don't have multiplication, and the fraction sign, this means division. Fraction sign means division. 
and then I have addition. So we know that division comes before addition based on my order of operations. And if I do negative 42 uh, by positive 6, that's opposite signs. So I'm going to get a negative quotient. And negative 42 uh, divided by 6, I get negative 7 plus negative 5. And now I'm adding the same signs. So I have 7 negatives and I have another 5 negatives. So I get negative 12 as my answer. Negative 12 as my answer. Okay? Um, here's another example. Um, all right. Now, let's do one uh, in which I have... negative 4 times negative 5 times negative 2 minus negative 8. Okay? So, when I look at this one, I am going to, uh, you know, again, I have this up here. And based on this, I can see I don't have this, I don't have this, but I definitely have multiplication. Okay, so I don't have parentheses, I don't have exponent, but I do have multiplication. So I am going to start from here. Negative 4 times negative 5. So negative times negative is giving me what? Positive. So 4 times 5, this is 20 times negative 2 minus negative 8. All right, and now it's positive times negative, so that becomes negative 40. And as we had talked before, add the opposite, or removing negativity gives me positivity. So add the opposite of negative 8, which would be positive 8. Right, and now we have opposite signs. So of absolute value of this minus the absolute value of this and then give the sign of the bigger number and I can see over here 40 minus 8 is 32 and the sign in front of the bigger number is negative so my answer is negative 32 so as I was saying look how you know I was talking about keep going like this in this format and so do all the steps so that uh, we are not missing anything and then making mistakes okay um, let's try one which looks like, uh, well, we can have one with algebraic uh, expressions and then we are solving that. Okay. So let's do all right. So if I say uh, w over x, y um, plus y uh, minus z cubed, all right? And I know that w is 36, w is 36, um, and I have x is negative 6, y is negative 1, and z is negative 2, and z is negative 2. So here, here are my values. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to substitute all the values uh, for those variables. And once I have substituted the values, then I am going to follow my PEMDAS or my order of operations. So with me substituting the values, it said w is 36. Right, so I'm going to write 36. This means division, all right, by x is um, negative 6, right, and y is negative 1. This means multiplication, all right, plus y is negative 1, right, um, minus z is negative.
negative 2. Okay? So, negative 2 cubed. Because Z cubed. Okay? So, let's look at this first. 36 over negative times negative gives me positive. So, this gives me 6 plus negative 1 minus. If I have negative 2 times negative 2, that gives me 4. And then times negative 2 is going to give me negative 8. Okay? Because we have... Uh, three numbers in that set because it's an odd integer set I'm going to get a negative quotient okay so negative times negative is positive and then positive times negative gives me negative okay so this becomes negative 8 okay so if I now look at the order of operations I have division which is going to come in my PEMDAS first right have division that's going to come before addition or subtraction so 36 divided by 6 I get 6 plus negative 1 minus negative 8 okay so 6 and negative 1 are opposite signs so therefore I'm going to subtract and give the sign of the bigger integer so this becomes 5 6 minus 1 is 5 and opposite uh, the positive sign is here. So 5 and minus negative 8. And then that becomes 5. Change the minus to plus and add the opposite. So this becomes 5 plus 8, which gives me 13. And here is my final answer. That gives me 13, which is my final answer, all right? And so look how I've done it this way, going all the way down, all right? So we are just like, again, uh, doing nothing but substituting the values and then solving based on PEMDAS, okay? So uh, let's do another problem. And... This one, again, we are just going to use algebraic uh, expressions and then substitute the values. So this is one last example I want to show you with PEMDAS. All right. So if I have um, A, B over C um, minus D plus C. All right. And it's telling me that um, a is equal, A is equal to 4, B, C, and D, all right? So A is equal to 4, B is equal to negative 10, all right? Um, C is equal to 5, and D is equal to negative 2, all right? So I have these values that are provided to me. And now I'm going to take these values and I am going to substitute them into that um, uh, expression in order to solve it. Okay? So A is 4. B is negative 10. Okay? And then I have C, which is 5 minus D is uh, negative 2 plus C, which is 5. Okay, so I have my values plugged in now. And then we are going to use PEMDAS. Use PEMDAS. Okay, and I can see that 4 times negative 10 is going to give me negative 40 because positive times negative opposite sign is going to give me a negative product. Divided by 5 minus negative 2 plus 5. So we can solve what is in the parentheses over here. Um, and we can see that opposite sign. So I'm just going to do 5 minus 2 and I get 3. And the sign in front of this is a positive number. Okay. So negative divided by Positive is going, because opposite signs, I am going to have a negative uh, quotient. All right. And then I have 
minus three. So basically what am I doing? Taking this, adding the opposite of three, which would be negative three. And now because they are the same signs, I am adding them. I have eight negatives. I have three more negatives. Total amount, I have negative 11. Okay, and here is my answer using the order of operations. Okay, so uh, applying integer operations, basically we are following PEMDAS. Please remember for everything, uh, first parentheses, next exponent, then we have multiplication and division, uh, which go left to right if only those two are left uh, in the problem. And then we have addition, subtraction. Again, if only those two are left, it goes from left to right. All right. Have a great day.